this is Starkey Sowers welcoming in to another nutrition moment here at Clark's Nutrition and Natural Foods Market. So oftentimes we get to talk about great lines that we really enjoy passionately and Dr. Mercola is definitely one of those lines. One of my favorite lines for, for a couple reasons. Number one, Dr. Mercola is one of the guys that's kind of bold. He's always out there talking about things on the net as well as social media and he's definitely one of the guys that kind of challenges the controversies that are out there and is willing to roll the dice. For instance, like during the vaccine moment, he was very outspoken on that and ultimately ended up getting in a lot of trouble, you know, so to speak, quote unquote. Ultimately what happened was his information on it actually turned out to be pretty darn solid. So a lot of times with somebody who's willing to challenge the industry and willing to go forth, sometimes gets a little bit of like, a, you know, backlash a little bit. But in this particular opinion, I like it because this guy like stays on the forefront and does things the right way. Now I'm just talking about his line. When it comes to his line, one thing that we do know for sure is quality tested, quality ingredients. And the biggest thing that Mercola does probably more so than anything else, and I've said this more than once, is he fills very unique gaps. For instance, like we'll be talking about some of the formulas. One of the things we'll be talking about is bone density. And ultimately what happens is the formula that he's got is going to be very unique as you listen to the ingredients that are in there. But it fills the gaps because typically somebody will maybe take a calcium or a magnesium or something of that nature. And that's what I like about him. He fills very unique gaps and gets in some places where nobody else is really kind of willing to go, all right? So for instance, like that, when it comes to liposomal vitamin C, probably one of the first guys on the market with the liposomals, it almost seems like it's a household word now. Remember what happens with the liposomals, they take vitamin C, which is a water-soluble substance, and they basically mix it, so to speak, in with a fat compound. So what happens is the body absorbs it as a fat, gets into the bloodstream, and stays in the bloodstream substantially longer, allowing not only the immune system to work well, but also the white blood cells to get a full dose of vitamin C throughout the day. One of my favorite ones, I've been using this one, I like it a lot, and it digests well and it lasts well in the system. Great stuff. The other thing I thought we would do is just kind of go through some selections that I put out today. So one of the things that is interesting, he came out with this bio-thin line and did a couple different things. First of all, this is a lactobacillus gersera. So this is a specific bacteria. We find a couple of notes with this. Where it happens with this particular bacteria when it's in the gut in abundance, what happens is the body's sugar balance, so to speak, ends up being much more efficient. So anybody that's like struggling like with maybe diabetes 2 or the abdominal waste weight, so which oftentimes means that there's like an insulin sensitivity issue going on, we actually know that this specific bacteria has been shown clinically to help to reduce belly fat and also help to prevent body fat accumulation around the waist, making this like something for sure if somebody's dieting, okay? So in his bio thin line, he also came out with this. This is an apple extract. Specifically, this apple is actually attributed to be the first apple ever. Everything from that ends up being a hybrid from this moment. But this particular extract that has different types of polyphenols, once again, is another thing that helps with a couple different things. Helps with blood sugar maintenance. It also helps with cardiovascular heart protection as a very strong antioxidant. The other thing it does is actually been clinically proven, once again, to help with that abdominal waste, making this the, the perfect combination for anybody that's doing a weight loss program. You might want to consider doing this. I wouldn't expect to get fast results. I would expect to be in a situation where you want to use this for a period of time, maybe like three to six months, and then take a look back. So what does that mean? Maybe take a waist measurement, maybe do a little bit of body fat check with some calipers, go like two or three months with the product, and then actually come back and see if it's actually working for you. The other thing you might want to do is check your A1C. You might be very surprised at that moment, all right? Okay, so other thing too, anybody that's uh, obviously when it comes to like thyroid health, iodine ends up being a great classic thing that's needed. You might want to check your multivitamin and make sure that there's enough iodine. If you're one of those ones that maybe suffers in the world of thyroid, sometimes a little extra iodine works, sometimes it doesn't. So be cautious with it, use it, see how it feels with it. But for sure, the biothin line, those two together, the apple extract and the, the uh, lactobacillus gersera makes a huge, huge difference. All right, so let's talk about silica. It's funny, we, we talk about collagen so much, and collagen, everybody eats collagen. I eat collagen, I love collagen. Ultimately, I just like the way it works, right? But there are some individuals that don't like collagen. Obviously, it's uh, an animal-derived product, that's number one. Number two, maybe they just don't like the way you gotta take so much of it. 
What's unique about that is this, is there's different types of minerals that are in the body that actually help with collagen formation. Not only at the bone site, we're gonna talk about that in a minute, remember that the bone itself is a large percentage of collagen. But a lot of times we just don't have the micronutrients that are needed to catalyze the specific reactions to build collagen. So ironically speaking, silica ends up being a specific mineral that is very abundant, so to speak, in collagen area. What it actually does is it creates a synthesis, it activates the enzymes that are necessary, where it takes the proteins, puts them together, and builds the collagen. Remember, there's a large amounts of types of collagen. We always talk about the type ones, the type twos, the type threes. There's literally like in the 50s to 100s when it comes to the different types of collagens. So ultimately, this ends up being a great product for somebody who maybe wants to strengthen their hair, skin, and nails using a different, easy to resolve, so to speak, product that ends up building the collagen from within. Obviously, a capsule a day or two capsules a day kind of puts it in a good spot. A little bit easier to swallow than like maybe a protein drink. Ultimately, one of the things too, we're gonna to talk about when it comes to different types of bone health, making a big difference for that. But before we get too far, what I wanna do is talk to you about this, liposomal hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid specifically is something that helps to stimulate what is known as proteoglycans. Or actually, this actually becomes a proteoglycan moment. So it helps with cartilage, it also helps with synovial fluid, and it also helps with lubrication in the joints. Specifically, a lot of folks that have like joint issue are taking like glucosamines, conjoins, things of that nature. Those convert into hyaluronic acid. So this is the step further, so to speak. And this is not only gonna help with hydration in the joints, but it also helps with hydration in the skin. It also helps to bring uh, like more of a thickness to the skin, making like the combination of the liposomal and the silica to be a great thing that you might wanna try for your skin. If you feel like you're using some things like collagen, you wanna just maybe add to it, or maybe try something different, I think that would be a great combination to try, all right? So, let's move on a little bit more. Let's talk about skin. Again, one of the things you end up with is what we call ceramides that are in skin. So what's nice about this is you see the ceramides is also ultimately ends up being a product that's available. The body usually has to build these ceramide compounds, and this one also has a small amount of hyaluronic acid and a few other different things in it. But what ceramides do is they do a couple different things. Number one, what they do is they actually hydrate the skin and they retain the moisture, especially winter time, fall times, which we're coming into. If you have a tendency to have dry skin, you might want to try running some ceramides for like three or four months. That definitely helped it with the water retention and hold it in the skin level. Remember the ceramides also do something else. They're also like the natural immunity in the skin. So it actually helps look like the immune system that brushing up and get different types of virus, bacteria, things of that nature, making it something, uh, maybe a great try, obviously, for the winter. All right, so as we were talking about collagen, silica being one of the number one compounds when it comes to collagen, it activates the synthesis of the collagen in the system. By the way, vitamin C is typically with that as well. Using the liposomal would be good. But one of the things that happens when we do that is that we need that collagen synthesis and we need this, the silica to happen. So now let's talk bone tissue. So bone tissue is a large percentage collagen. I know everyone thinks of bones, they think of calcium, they maybe even think of magnesium to a degree, things of that nature. But what we know is this, when it comes to bone tissue, collagen is the number one component. Well, this is a bone support formula. What you're gonna notice on this, obviously it's gonna have the silica with it, but then there's a couple other ingredients. So a couple different things. Number one, you'll see the strontium right at the top. We actually know when it comes to strontium, strontium is a particular type of trace mineral that we typically lack in our soil because of the different types of farming practices that we have. What's unique about strontium, it actually helps to increase the bone mineral density, especially in postmenopausal females, making it a great product for somebody who's maybe having osteoporosis concerns or things of that nature, maybe using calcium and not getting out everything that you need. Strontium oftentimes is the catalyst to make that calcium synthesized more effectively. The other thing that you'll notice that is in here too is boron. Boron's a trace mineral as well, another trace mineral that was probably lacking in the diet. What happens with boron is this, is boron specifically activates in the kidney area. So remember that we need vitamin D for the absorption of calcium, right? So vitamin D is necessary for the absorption of calcium and the retention of calcium, and also the stimulation of bone tissue. But what we don't realize is vitamin D, when we consume it, actually has to be activated in the system. So it goes through the kidneys and it goes through the liver. But believe it or not, boron is one of the components that we know actually activates calcium, or rather vitamin D, into its active form. They call it 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol. Who in their right mind wants to say that 25 times? Nobody does, right? But the bottom line, that's the active form. Remember the kidneys and the liver is where it gets activated, but it needs boron to do that. So specifically, as we get older, 
boron loss becomes an issue for two reasons. Number one, for the activation of that, if somebody's suffering from bone mineral deficiencies. The other thing it does is it also helps to retain more estrogen in the system. As we know, when we go through the menopause moment, we lose estrogen, then the bone mass gets really challenged. So this ends up being a perfect combination of all three of those minerals together, the strontium, the boron, the silica, that definitely give you some bone support. I love this product, simple, easy, and effective. Now I'm gonna hit you back with two of my favorites. As I told you, one of my favorites was the liposomal vitamin C. I just like the way it works. I like the way I feel. I like the way it digests. The other thing I love is krill oil. Krill oil, in my opinion, is like one of the best omega-3 fatty acids you can get. Remember, when it comes to the equation, most people use about three grams of fish oils a day to get the effects that they want. Lower triglycerides, improve viscosity of the blood. The other thing that we also know too is helps with inflammatory situations. Well, three grams of fish oils, you're gonna do a tablespoon a day, or you're gonna do like a pack a day, or whatever the case might be. Here's what we know when it comes to the comparative analysis. What happens is this. When it comes to krill, we end up with one gram a day. So it's much less. And the reason why it's already in what we call an active phospholipid membrane complex. And what it does is it immediately absorbed into the body. It's water dispersible, goes into the system. But the big kicker on krill is this. It actually activates the brain. It crosses into the blood brain barrier and helps building the specific phosphatidylserine complex and everything in that nature. So krill, in my opinion, ends up being probably one of the best substances you can use as an omega-3, but also in a neutropic environment, helping to improve brain mental alertness and brain quickness, so to speak. All right, so. Back to you again with a Mercola story. One thing that you're gonna find out with Mercola each and every time you come back, very uniquely specific, and not only specific, but extremely effective products. Mm -hmm.